so he's over two. Right? Over two. Over a lot more than two. <laughs> so then what do you think about Kevin getting his new contract? I'm so happy for him. I mean, um, thinking about where he came from, when we got him, the conversation we had before he even came, him in the bubble, the G League bubble, uh, him coming up here and having ups and downs and 50 point games and suspension and like everything that we've, we've kind of gone through together. So um, I'm proud of him. I'm so, so happy for him. And um, this is just the beginning, like he said. This is just the beginning for uh, for him being like a foundational piece of, of what we have going on. Here. He said he wouldn't have believed it if you told him a couple years ago that this moment would have been. Obviously, you guys did believe in him and put in the work with him. What What is your reaction when you hear that he, he wouldn't have believed? It? He said you guys were just talking. <laughs> he, he would have been. You guys were just talking at that point. So someone had told him back then that he would be getting this contract. Yeah, I mean, I could see it. I could see why he would say that, you know, based on what happened in Cleveland and, and where he was at. He was, he was at a low point. So when you're at a low point of your life for anybody, whether you're a basketball player or any walk of life, you, you feel like the, the walls are caving in and you're trying to figure out how you're going to get out of that. So, yeah, I think everybody in the world has had a moment where they're like, this just isn't going to work. <laughs> but he fought and he worked and he learned and he grow, grew. And uh, we were right there with him all the way and believed in him as a basketball talent for sure and didn't know what we were getting as a person. But soon after he got here, we knew that he was like a really, really just good, genuine person. We needed some people who believed in him and we do. Obviously, he has the talent and he put in the work, but do you take some personal satisfaction as this organization in helping him become whatever he's become? Yeah, I mean, it, it, when you put a lot of time into something, and a lot of effort and a lot of conversations and a lot of uh, thought, then for it to kind of come to fruition, it, it feels good. It feels good. I mean, there's no more proud feeling for me than how I feel about him right now. So it's not about me or the organization or anything. It's about him. But yeah, we spent a lot of time and um, gone through some ups and downs and, and some moments that uh, he grew from, we grew, grew from, and now we're here. So yeah, it feels good, but I couldn't fight. Like, it pales in comparison to how I feel about him and for him. Coach, what, what is it like for you to have maybe a little bit more longevity in the fact that you have a young core and that the organization is clearly committed to this young core? How good does that feel as a coach to have that? Yeah, I mean, stability is always good. Uh, it feels good to have the guys that we have. I, I, I love our group. I continue to say that. Uh, the guys that have been here uh, with Eric and JT and KJ and then the new guys from last year and now the new guys from this year, it, it does seem like we're moving in the right direction as far as solidifying who we're going to be. So as a coach, yeah, it's, it's always good to know that you're, uh, you have a group that's going to be here for a while and you can grow with them and uh, teach them. Steven, in your opinion, how much can something like this help Kevin reach his potential, reach new heights, if you will, now that he has this, this confidence he talked about with the stability and that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, it's always like good to have a weight off your shoulders, whether you're, you're thinking about it every day or not. And, you know, people always are asking, are you thinking about the contract? And what do they say? No, but of course they are. <laughs> so uh, to have that weight lifted off their shoulders and know, to know that you're going to be in a place for a while you're financially secure and you can just kind of go out there and play then yeah it's, it's great for him he, he should just flourish as a result steven what's you going through you talk about as you get ready to get ready for atlanta can you talk about what you the patients within the season the regular season right now? yeah i mean again we're not putting all our eggs in the atlanta basket we're we're trying to do the things that make us successful as far as on the defensive end being multiple effort and, and flying around and then on the offensive end sharing the ball and when we do those things then it will lead to success so 
this is a process of many, many games. So, yeah, we're excited about getting out there and playing Atlanta and, and having the first regular season game. And I'm sure there'll be some jitters because we have a bunch of young guys. But uh, for me, it's about like, OK, this is the start of us figuring out who we are and how we can play well and the wins and losses will come. You mentioned the suspension. Do you see a growth from him after that, almost like a refocus when he came back from that, you know, the rest of last season and even coming into this season? I wouldn't necessarily say that. I mean, it was definitely like a tipping point maybe, but um, yeah, he's, he's been growing since we got him, right? And that was just a blip. So um, immediately after, I would say he and I became closer because we had to have those difficult conversations and you know at, at moments like that you really find out how much you love somebody <laughs> and uh i love them so from that moment on i guess it was like more solidified but um he's been growing since day one so the way that was your you first stood by him after that do you think that that built even more trust between the two of you i would think so i would hope so i mean that's probably more a question for him um but yeah, when, when you go through moments and then you come out of them um, stronger and, and better, then trust trust builds. Can you what take yourself away from? Can you take yourself away from being Coach Silas and just be Steven Silas for a second and think about a young man who was two years ago just said that this franchise saved his life. You're part of this franchise. You're part of the reason that he is in the position that he's in right now and the leadership role that he's in right now. What does that mean to you? Understood, don't need to be said. I got it, coach.